what they called the present day Allahabad. And that, of course, that thousand years ago, India was conquered by the Mughals, and they changed the name of all the so many ancient cities and villages, so it, to become named after their their form of God or their name for God. Allah. Allah Abad, Allah Allah Abad, Allah Allah Abad. But the ancient name is Prayag, and actually, even before that, it's called Kashi. So Kashi is one of the very ancient, ancient cities, and in the Puranas, it's a very, very ancient city. And in the Puranas, Skanda Puran, Padma Puran, it says that Prayag is a is a Mukta Pura. It's a city where you get liberation if you die there. You go to the spiritual world. And there's different spiritual worlds. The Mahavaikuntha planet, which is a, a spiritual planet where Sri Lakshay Vishnu lives in this material universe. And there's other lower planes of Vaikuntha existence. But that also means liberation. So this Kashi is very, very old. Kashi, the, the, there's seven cities in Bharat that if someone dies there, they get liberation. One is Kashi and Ayodhya and Mathura and Haridwar and uh, Dwarka. There's some place called Mayapuri, which is maybe Assam or somewhere. I'm not sure. Some other place called Maya, Mayapuri. It's not <laughs> Mayapur. Mayapuri. Oh, the Avanti. Avanti is one. And then Vishnu Kanchi or something like this in South India. So these are very special places. Mathura is there, Mathura Mandala. So Kashi is one of them. And you can read in a Krishna book how the Akura, Akura was born there as a son of Gandini and Shwapaka. Akura, the famous Akura, the, the uncle, of, I think the uncle of Krishna. And during the Dwarka Leela, Kura, he ran away with the Shamantaka jewel, and he went there to Kashi. And then there was a whole, whole Leela that unfolded, and the king of Kashi attacked Dwarkadish, and then and he released some kind of tantric, demoniac weapon to burn down Dwarkadish. But that was defeated by Krishna's chakra, then the weapon returned and killed the king of Kashi, or something like this. So Kashi is a very, very ancient city. It takes the, the king of Kashi took part in Krishna's Leela 5,000 years ago. So somehow either it has two ancient, ancient names or Prayag is a newer name, but the most ancient name is Kashi, and then Prayag. So Prayag means, yag, yag, it's a combination of two words, pr- Prakrishta and Yagya. So it's Prayag means Big yagya, big big place of yagya. So in the Puranas, it says the devatas used to come from the higher planets to this planet and do big yagyas there, Vishnu yagyas, to please Vishnu. Because there, it's a very auspicious place where rivers come together, the Saraswati, Ganga, and uh, you know the Triveni is there. Jamuna, Ganga, and Saraswati. So where three rivers come together, it's a very spiritually surcharged place. So there... At the juncture there of those three rivers, they would do these big fire yagyas, huge fire yagyas in Treta Yuga, millions of years ago. So Prayag is a place, a great place of yagya. Prayag means yagya. So now the devotees of Lord Chaitanya are going up and down the streets of Prayag and doing the Nam, Nam Sankirtan yagya. And the Srimad Bhagavatam, it says, Yagya Sankirtana Prayara. Krishna Varnam Svisat Krishna Sangopanga Shaparsham Yagya Sankirtana Prayajanti Samedasha. So 500 years ago, this analogy is there in Chaitanya Charitamrita that although Prayag was there, Ganga was there, Yamuna was there for so many thousands and thousands of years, there was never any flooding of the city. The banks of the Ganga never flooded. But when Lord Chaitanya came to Prayag 500 years ago, he said there was an entire flood of Krishna Prem. It says in Chaitanya Charitamrita, Lord Chaitanya, he inundated, he, he inundated, I told Pralaya Magana, he inundated the whole city of Prayag with the Harinam Sankirtan, 
wherever Lord Chaitanya was dancing and chanting Hare Krishna, everyone saw him got prem. Because he's Radharani. He has Radharani's bhav, looking like Radharani, golden color, and, and emanating her prem and karuna bhav. But Krishna Sarup, Krishna Sarupam, but Radha's bhav, and Kanti, Kanti and bhava. So if anyone sees Radharani, then they'll get prem. And, and one will only see Radharani if they're a devotee. Krishna goes in the battlefield of Kurukshetra. He goes and fights demons. Radharani never leaves Vrindavan. So demons never get that close to see Radharani. So they even don't get prem. And so many people saw Krishna. That, and what about the wrestlers in Mathura? Chanur was embracing Krishna tighter than, than Radharani. <laughs> tighter than Radharani could ever embrace Krishna. And trying to break every ribbon. Just like, but his, what was his attitude? What was his attitude? What was his motivation? I want to kill Krishna. So you, he had no prem. Premanjana Charita Bhakti Velochana. Because he's not a bhakta. It's only a bhakta can see Krishna. Premanjana Charita Bhakti Velochana. Premanjana Charita Bhakti Velochana. This is the Bhakti Lochana. This is the eye of the devotee. He has prem. He, Krishna shows, he has the adhikar to receive darshan of Krishna. He can't see Krishna, but he, now that he has prem, he... He's in, he, he, Krishna may come and show himself. If like you have an appointment, the doctor may see you. But he may cancel appointments and you don't see him. So he gives you an appointment, which means he's going to grant you his darshan. So Krishna gives us, instills his prem in our heart. That itself is a gift. If he gives us his prem, that means, yes, now I've given you a, an appointment. I've given you an appointment. Someday I'll show myself to you.